Right, RBR Boxing here at the MGM National Harbor. Uh, we're here for the uh, Gary Russell, Jojo Diaz fight, but we ran into the man, Lamar Roach Jr. Uh, we spoke with uh, Robert Diaz actually on Thursday, asked him about you. Yeah. Um, he said obviously they want to come back here. Uh, you know, the crowd supports you. That was a big turnout. Right. Um, what are your thoughts on, on fighting here again? Uh, fighting here, man, you know, it's, it's lovely. I love fighting here, man. Um, in my backyard, everybody at home. It gives me an uh, extra sense of comfort. You know, when I'm in the ring, I'm always comfortable because, you know, that's what I do. I box. You know, everywhere I go, the ring is my home, no matter if it's a different state, different country. You know, I'm always going to be at home. But fighting here, man, it's something special. Now, walk us through that uh, Orlando Cruz fight. Obviously, there was a controversial no knockdown ruling by Luis Pabon. Um, you know, Speaking of Robert Diaz again, I mean, he was like, you know, you got to chalk it up to human error, but that ref has a history. I mean, it's frustrating, obviously, yeah. from our perspective, but, I mean, you being in the ring, how frustrating was it? How disappointed were you? Uh, I was very disappointed. You know, that night was supposed to be my night, and um, it technically, you know, got taken away from me, but uh, we knew who we were up against when we went there. Puerto Rican judges, Puerto Rican referee, fighting that kid from Puerto Rico, and actually from San Juan, before San Juan. So, um, I just felt like I didn't execute as well as I could have. And, um, you know, as the big news is, the WBO ordered a rematch. So, we know we going, we know we gotta do, um, we know we're gonna execute better, but eventually I'm gonna knock him out. I'm gonna knock Orlando Cruz out. Okay, so what's the game plan? I mean, what would you do different? Obviously, I, I know you're a patient technician, you got yeah. skills for days, your ring IQ is really high, but, I don't know about other people, but I'm, I'm at the TV yelling, let your hands go, because hey. we know what you can do when that happens. Hey. I mean, what, what is it? And I know, I know Boogaloo used to do that, too. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you should take him out. I remember a fight, uh, you know, talking to him about it. But, I mean, you know, what is it maybe? Do you think what, you maybe you're a little bit too patient sometimes? Uh, I just say that I think uh, the first couple of rounds were more so a fill out. And, um, I should have, because that was a game plan just to take him out um, from the beginning, and I started too late. Um, obviously, if I would have started earlier, you see the knockdown that happened later in the later rounds. So, you know, obviously that would have happened earlier. You know, he used his age, and he came, he came, he did come to fight. He came in in shape. You know, he came, but when he did fight for it to survive, so you know, uh, I let him coast a little bit and stuff like that. So, you know, um, at the end of the day, it all falls back on me, but. The game plan is going to be to take him out. You're going to see what we've been working on in the gym. Okay. Look forward to that. Um, now, again, Diaz told us either Albuquerque or Cancun. You have a preference? Uh, where, where your fight could happen? I don't care, man. I want to get him in the ring. That's it. I want to get him in the ring. All right. Cool, cool. Now, uh, in terms of tonight, you got any uh, predictions? Gary Russell versus a guy that signed to the same promotional company as you and Jojo Diaz. Fireworks. What are your thoughts? Fireworks. Okay. I can't wait. I can't call it. Um, it's going to be a real good fight. And I can't wait. I can't wait. Up with you soon. Hope that uh, rematch is announced officially yeah, soon. Sure. And you know, RBR Boxing here with Lamar Rush Jr. Appreciate your time. Man.